Do you have a pair of tights in your wardrobe? Or do you sometimes use some sports seamless garment when you go running outside? Then you will surely have some texturized yarns in your wardrobe. Normally sportswear and tights use polyamide or polyester yarns due to their fantastic properties. But these synthetic yarns have a big problem. They are monofilaments yarns and they are too sleek. So they don't feel comfortable on your skin, they feel too plasticky, too synthetic. So what's the solution? We texturize the yarn, let's see that together. Texturization is a process to obtain a texturized yarn. It's normally used on synthetic yarns such as polypropylene, polyester or polyamide, so synthetic fibers. It's called texturizing because it modifies the texture of the yarns. These modifications, this texturization on yarns also modifies the finished fabrics. So texturizing is fantastic guys because it reduces the synthetic appearance of the fabric, bringing its appearance closer to a natural fabric. To sum up, texturization gives fiber look to synthetic filaments. The cons is evident guys, you lose tenacity and strength of the yarn, that's why it's not used for industrial applications. The process is not so complicated, let's see that together. The yarns are put into a heated box to perform crimping. Through a thermomechanical action the yarn is shot with hot hair through some nozzles. These hot hair that heats the yarn break and open the fibers internally and take them out, giving the yarn a less synthetic drape and hand. Texturization is not performed on natural fibers, guys. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, natural fibers are still fresh and already have great volume. They are not as sleek as synthetic fibers. Anyway, there are a different, different types of texturization. There are, for example, friction texturizing, PIN texturizing, air texturizing, stuffer box texturizing, belt texturizing, knit the knit texturizing, and so on and so on. Each of these different processes brings different texturization to your yarns according to your needs. Some gives more volume, some gives more hand. Can I perform texturization on artificial fibers? This is a great question indeed. Yes, you can do that. Artificial fibers are as synthetic fibers because they are very sleek. If you think about a viscose, a monofilament viscose, for example. So yeah, you can perform texturization to improve the volume. That's it for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the content of this video. You will find my details below with my email, Reddit, and so on. If you need some consultancy or if you have any questions, I am at disposal naturally. So yeah, that's all for today. And as usual, stay safe, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.